Hi, Katie and Baron here from Joyful Folks. I love the Enneagram. I discovered it last summer and read the book, The Road Back to You, after taking a online test. So we read this book while we were on a super long road trip to Florida. And I found it super helpful in understanding myself, who I am in the context of relationships, and my inclinations towards different feelings, thoughts, and emotions. And because of its helpfulness, I decided to do a nine part series about the Enneagram, but also including essential oils. For those of you wondering like what's the Enneagram, it's a personality assessment that describes nine different types of human nature. But what makes this test different from any other personality test is that it reveals core motivations of behavior and why we do the things we do. So if you wanna learn your type and learn more, I recommend The Road Back to You, it's a book. Or you could take a quick assessment, 9types.com, the number 9types.com, for just a quick assessment. I really recommend kind of like reading more about each type and not just taking the assessment's uh, word for it, basically. So you may be wondering, why pair the Enneagram with essential oils? It seems kind of weird. But it's not that weird because science proves that aromatherapy affects the limbic brain. The limbic brain controls mood and behavior and through consistent use of essential oils it's shown to help rewire the unhelpful pathways that are in our brain by creating new ones. When an essential oil travels through our olfactory system and reaches the limbic system, our body responds and shifts to a new emotion. So take for example lavender. Lavender is used in spas around the world and on babies and it's just known for thousands of years for its relaxing properties so no one has to tell you to relax when you smell lavender it happens automatically that's because the smell creates an emotional response which affects behavior so our brains are so cool isn't it amazing how we are created people respond to situations and interact with different emotions with wide variety <laughs> Um, so that's why the Enneagram is helpful to identify which mo motivates which type of person and what they tend towards um, as far as their res responsive habits. And especially when it comes to negative emotions, I think it's helpful uh, to identify which oils have natural properties that help the limbic brain overcome these unhelpful emotional habits that the Enneagram kind of brings to light for people as they learn about their, their type. And because I'm a Christian, I cannot approach this subject without the foundation of the transformative truth of the gospel. Because God sent Jesus to redeem us from our sin, we can live in newness of life. He changes us. We are made new because of him. And our negative inclinations, thought patterns, and emotions are redeemed. So... God's created things, as Roman says, are to help us to see and remember God as we interact with the physical world, hence essential oils, plant-based. God is not a distant God, but is active in the world around us and has created a wide variety of things to express himself and remind us of him. I believe that the natural properties of plants are helpful tools for memory. The like smell of a rose or a lily or a Christmas tree. Like what emotions, what emotions do you feel when you smell those things? So using essential oils are meant to help remind us by association what God, what God says will help ground our thoughts and emotions while meditating on his word. So using essential oils by association to remind us what God actually says um, and having that smell remind us by meditating on his word and bringing that to the forefront of our memory. So I've had three natural births, <laughs> two at home, um, but that's not what this is about. <laughs> I'm that girl. But to prepare for labor and delivery, I diffused my favorite oils, and they were different for each baby. And I practiced breathing and relaxing while listening to a, play a playlist of songs and scripture that I put together. Uh, I, would, I would practice early in the morning, before everyone was awake, or uh, right before bed as I was going to sleep. And so I was engaging all my senses um, to relax. My sense of smell, 
um, is incredibly powerful. Our sense of smell is incredibly powerful because we because of the limbic system. So when I diffuse my go-to oils and labor, my mind and body would kick into relax mode because of association. I was just reminded to relax, like. I had practiced that. I was reminded of that. So when I, um, my senses were engaged and reminded, so were my thoughts and my behaviors. So my goal uh, is the same for the Enneagram, that as we talk about each type and go through the different types, that um, when you are experiencing an inclination towards an unhealthy emotion, it's okay, baby, and you, and you smell the fragrance of the familiar oil, that is scientifically proven to help rewire emotion, you would be reminded of what God says about you um, and that your emotion or behavior will grow into new habits and your mind would be renewed and that over time you will learn to fill your mind with his thoughts and his words and his care for you. So I'm excited to get started, friends. This is this, a quick intro and I'm gonna start sharing about each type. <laughs> I know, we're all excited. Each type um, and which oils to use um, and which oils I recommend to help support. Okay, I'll be seeing you soon.